Craving some autographs? Bring on the BAM. What's inside the new BAM box subscription box? Did you know every single month Bambox delivers to you? Don't, sorry, I don't mean to point my finger with a nail on the end of it. Did you know every single month Bambox delivers to you a selection of autographs, movie prints, and even replica props? If that does sound appealing and tantalizing to you, then perhaps you can click the link down below or www.thebambox.com and you can subscribe today. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Yeah, I thought so as well. We're going to go open this up, find out what's inside, and we're also going to find out which BAM box this specifically is. Because, of course, as you know, BAM box delivers every single month the pop culture box, which is basically your regular run-of-the-mill movies and television. And then, of course, if you fancy the more extra spicy, there's the BAM horror box, which basically has television and movies spiced and spiced sprinkled with horror delicacies. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up and see which one we have inside. And of course, we're going to find out which, which uh, you know, of course, BAM box this is actually going to be. We're going to grab our knife here. This happens to be Knifey McGee, a good trusty knife. Though I have to admit, I'm not too keen on the fact that it does have the safety feature of the retracting knife. I would have preferred it would actually lock in place, but far be it for me to judge a knife like this. It it's very comfortable, it's easy to hold, it's got some good substantial weight to it. It's overall a good trusty knife. I know you guys don't really care about the knife itself. You want to see what's going on inside. So without further ado, let's cut the front of the box. And I believe there's also some tape on the side of the box. Let's make some short work of that. Spin that around to the other side, just like that. And let's go ahead and get this opened up. Any other individuals out there, members of the mob, that perhaps subscribe to the BAM box? Let me know down below what you guys think of the contents. Now, I may be mistaken, but I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking I'm looking at a license plate. It was apparently so big it didn't fit completely the inside of the box. So we're going to open this up right now. And we've got Creep. Specifically Maine, and this is Vacation Land. I wonder if this is based on the movie Creep. And I think there's also a sequel, Creep 2. I did want to watch Creep, and I never truthfully get, got around to watching it, only solely because it's a found footage film, and I have a real tough time with shaky camera. It sort of gives me the <laughs> sort of upset stomach, cold sweats, and feeling of nausea. Anyways, if you guys have seen The Creep, I'm, I'm assuming this license plate is based on the movie The Creep. Let me know down below in the comments section. I don't even think it's actually called The Creep. I think it's just called Creep. And then, respectively, Creep 2 for its sequel. Pulling out the rest of the tissue paper, I guess it's safe to also assume that this is also uh, the Horror Bam subscription box. We're just going to get rid of that tissue paper that was on the side. And we've got ourselves a pin. Uh, clearly, it says BAM Horror, so clearly we know this is for the BAM Horror subscription box. This is a collectible enamel pin, and this is Stripe from the original Gremlins. On the back, it says, Do Not Water. <laughs> I like that. That is designed by Nick Kakoza, and it's from the fan art collection at www, once again, at thebambox.com. If you guys are interested in subscribing, I love collecting pins. You know that. The next guy knows that. The kid down the street who barely speaks English also knows that as well. He's a small child. I think he's only about two years old. He has yet to really pick up the English language. He's sort of just mumbling and jumbling, but so far he says that guy pins, and I'm, you know, again, he's absolutely right. You're absolutely right, young toddler. This guy does like pins. I'll open up the next thing. What else do we have inside here? I think we also have some autographs. Oh, I wonder if there is an autograph on this. No, there's not. I thought, for example, there might be an autograph on that. The next thing we have is uh, a print. Okay, I'm just kind of looking at things. I'm trying to deduce, solve this mystery for myself before I start looking at anything else. I see a girl, um, and I see what looks to be Christmas lights. Mm, 
possibly the new Black Christmas, which I have not seen, and don't really have much interest to see, to be honest. It has been signed, and it's out of an impossible 2,000 copies. All right, we'll flip it around. Let's find out what's going on here. This art print from our fan art collection, titled Keep Your Eyes Open, has been hand-signed by artist Tossie Shannon for the BAM Horror Box. It is guaranteed to be authentic. I draw, I must admit, draw an absolute loop blank. I'm sure even the toddler down the street has no idea what this is actually from. Anybody knows? Anybody? Let me know down below in the comments section. Then, of course, we've got ourselves what's going to be inside. And let's see exactly what is inside. Well, we do have a celebrity autograph, which I'm looking around. I did not get. No, no, I did not get myself a celebrity autograph. What I would have gotten was uh, the poltergeist. Well, let's see here. It says... Who can forget watching Poltergeist for the very first time and seeing Marty tear his face after, oh, tear his face after the beast bit him? We are excited to have Marty, played by Martin Casella, in box, uh, box 12. Now, I didn't get any, uh, unfortunately, any of these. That's heartbreaking because I would have certainly loved to get an autographed print. Unfortunately, maybe it just was left off of my box. I'll see if I can reach out to the BAM company and uh, see if they can get a replacement sent out for that post haste. Also got a fan art print or fan art pin. Don't give him water. Don't even, don't even to, or not even to drink. We got to love the gremlins. Got to collect them all. Look out for the variant pins numbered out of 250, 99 and 50. Here is the fan art print. I had absolutely no idea. First time band artist Tossie Shannon brings, uh, brings her incredible talent for her fan art of Better Watch Out. Okay. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That's when she's tied to the chair. I think so. I have seen the movie, but that part doesn't ring a bell to me. That part certainly does, and I recognize his friend, but that I drew an absolute blank of. I just recently actually watched Better Watch Out for the very first time, and I quite rather enjoyed it. Anybody else see the movie? Let me know. As for the movie prop, uh, by Celebrity Machines, check out this white main creep license plate as seen on the 1940s Dodge delivery truck in the 1987 movie Creep Show 2. I couldn't be further from the truth or being further from accurately knowing exactly what that license plate is from. Wow! I know I'm battling a bit of a cold, but come on. Come on, guy. From the 1987 movie Creepshow 2, although to be fair, I think in my defense, that license plate was very probably very quickly shown, and not something that certainly would have stayed behind in my memory banks. So I do apologize for that. Uh, down below, we've got this box's giveaway. You can win this Kane Hodder signed Jason mask, complete with a certificate of authenticity. For your chance to win, go to the BAM box forward slash community and look for the entry post. Follow the instructions for your chance to win. This, by the way, was the BAM horror box, box number 12, which so happened to also be the December box for 2019. If you guys are interested in subscribing to the BAM box, you can simply head on over Make your way over, if you can, to the www.thebambox.com. Uh, that would be the link. And then, of course, when you go into that website, you can decide for yourself whether you want to get the pop culture variety or if you want to get yourself the extra spicy variety. Creep. I thought it was from that movie Creep. I have seen Creep Show 2. Still have not seen Creep or Creep 2. Have you seen either one of those films? Let me know down below in the comments section. I would normally say what was the best item from this box, but unfortunately, this guy sort of got uh, shortchanged. I didn't get myself the celebrity autograph. Shucks. But don't worry, I'll reach out to Bam and ask them if they could send me a replacement, and hopefully all will be well. If all things are not well in your dwellings, perhaps it might have something to do with the fact that you haven't subscribed to this channel. Perhaps it might have something to do with the fact that you didn't hit that bell notification. And it might have something to do, not to be laying the guilt so heavy on your shoulders, the fact that maybe you're not periodically checking out this channel to see if there's anything you may have missed along the way. Rectify all of that right now. 
clean slate 2020 mark all those things down check those things all off subscribe yes bell notification yes checking out the home page on a regular basis sure why not i can do that as well good job Certainly stay tuned, my members of the mob. Keep your peepers peeled, because certainly there's going to be a lot of videos coming your way. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.